she says that she has worries concerning her prayer because she does not concentrate properly due to whispers of shaitan. So she suffers greatly when she prays. Not only that, even when she used to do and offer sunnah prayers, she used to think that this is a burden rather being something to enjoy. And she ended up leaving sunnah prayer. So when she was discussing with one of her sisters and she told her that she does not pray sunnah anymore, she ended up saying that I do not like prayers. I do not like to pray. And she's wondering, I cannot be happy when praying, but I'm praying just to obey Allah the Almighty. So was the thing that I had said wrong or is it okay? First of all, we have to realize that shaitan is doing his best. Not to advise you, not to make you live a happy life, but rather to make you go away and to divert your road and to be distracted from the straight path. This is his job. This is his objective in life. To get as many customers and companions with him in hell as possible. And one of the easiest ways of doing so is distracting people by throwing and casting his doubts in their minds. And this is obvious. You see him do this with people when they answer the call of nature. And the majority of uh, uh, these whispers come in the form of an obsession, which just jumps on the person and overwhelms him. They cannot purify themselves after, calling the, uh, after answering the call of nature. Some of them spend literally hours in the toilet trying to purify themselves and shaitan keeps on whispering to them, no, there's still a drop, there's a couple of uh, stains here or there. And he destroys their prayer during which they allow him to control them. He destroys their prayer through casting his whispering in their ears, in their hearts, in their minds about purity. He whispers to people regarding their prayer. Did I miss something? Did I say Allahu Akbar in the beginning? Okay, did I say Subhana Rabbi Al-A'la in the sujood? Maybe I did not. So I'll repeat the prayer. And he keeps on casting his whispers until a person ends up repeating the prayer five or six times. And you can imagine how difficult this is. He cast his whispers to people regarding food. So he becomes obsessed with everything he sees. Is this halal? Well, he, I have to double check. Even the meat that I eat at my father's house, I have to go and ask my father, where did you buy it from? And then go to the butcher and ask the butcher if he's a Muslim. And I ask him to say the shahada. Subhanallah, though we're living in a Muslim country. So he keeps on whispering to people about their marriage. I divorced my wife in my head, but now I don't know if I'm married to her or she's divorced. And I did this a thousand times. And he keeps on casting doubt after doubt. And the only objective, the only target he's seeking is to destroy your religion and to destroy your life. Therefore, I would suggest to the sister to ignore this completely and to think that this is from shaitan. What she said was wrong. She may ask Allah Azza wa for forgiveness. She did not intend that she hates salah, but she doesn't like salah because she's unable to concentrate, which means that her aim and her intention far exceeds what may be understood from the phrase itself.